What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinMartech.com and this is video one of my brand new programming video series where I show you guys how to program in Scratch using the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi 2. Now if you guys don't know, Scratch was a programming language developed by MIT and it's a visual programming language and it's awesome. It's awesome for people who want to learn how to program whether you're a beginner or expert or you're a kid, this is super kid friendly and it's also caters to the experts out there. This is a programming language we can use on the Raspberry Pi to control its GPIO pins, we can create robots, we can create fun games. It's freaking awesome. I love Raspberry Pis and I love programming. So I figured why not melt them into this cool programming series where I teach you guys how to program in Scratch. Now again, this is going to be a huge series and uh, this is video one. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Raspbian. Raspbian is the operating system that will load on the Raspberry Pi and it has Scratch already installed on it. So if you guys want to follow along, follow along with this video. What do you guys think of this webcam? I'm only using this webcam in this first part of this video where I introduced uh, the series. If you guys like this webcam I'll continue it on the rest of the videos on the series. Let me know in the comments. That's pretty much it. If you guys all right, guys, so the first thing we're going to need to do is connect our SD card to our computer. It's going to be our micro SD card connected to your computer. After you do that, we're going to open up our web browser here. And we're going to navigate to a, this URL right here. It's www.raspberrypi.org forward slash downloads forward slash Raspbian. Now, Raspbian is a uh, operating system that uh, will run on the Raspberry Pi. And we're going to make sure we download Raspbian Wheezy version and just click on the download link underneath it's download zip right here click on it and the download should start as you can see in the bottom left here the download has already started it's a pretty big download so it's about a gigabyte should take maybe 15 to 20 minutes depending on your internet speed I'm gonna cancel mine because I already downloaded it and we're going to go to the second URL here navigate to this URL it's sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash win32 disk imager forward slash this is the utility that we're going to use to burn our image onto the SD card. So this link will also be in the description. Once we've navigated to this URL, make sure you click on files here. Scroll down, click on archive. Scroll down and click on the first one you see. It's the more popular one, the newest version. Click on it. And if the download hasn't already started by itself, click on direct link here and it should start the download. As you can see on the bottom right, the download has already started. I already downloaded mine, so I'm going to cancel it. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to uh, install it, follow the directions, next, next, and then keep installing it. Once you finish installing it, we're going to actually open it up. So double click on the file. Once you open it up, it should look something like this. And if you installed your uh, micro SD card correctly to your computer, it should give you a drive letter. If you don't see a drive letter here, then you're going to need to disconnect your SD card, plug it back in, close this program, open it again, you should see a drive ladder. So now we need to find our image file, but we forgot to extract it. Now, by default, I think uh, our image file downloaded in downloads folder. It should look something like this. This is a zip file. It's called raspbian-weezy. Double click the file, select the file, and hit extract. Click on the directory where you wish to extract it. I extracted mine in the document, so I'm not going to extract it again. So wherever you extracted it, make sure you click on this folder, navigate to that directory. I have mine in documents, and it should look something like this, Raspbian Wheezy, and it's a disk image file. Click on it, click on open. Now we're ready to actually write it onto the disk. You're going to click on write, it's going to start writing. I'm not going to do it because I already uh, started or I already writ written the file onto my SD card. Once it's finished, you're going to let it run. It's going to take a, about my, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Once it's finished, it's going to say OK or it's going to say uh, successful. Click on OK. Then we're going to click on this to close the program. Then we're pretty much done with this step. Take out your SD card, plug it into your Raspberry Pi. And then we're ready for the next step. All right, guys, so this is the Raspberry Pi I'm going to use. This is a Raspberry Pi 2. You guys can use any Raspberry Pi you want. Uh, I recommend the Raspberry Pi 2 because it's uh, way more powerful and you'll have a better experience. Now, again, make sure you connect your micro SD card, the one we just uh, finished uh, burning the image to, onto the back of the Raspberry Pi. Connect your HDMI cable to a monitor. I have my HDMI cable connected to this monitor here. I have this USB dongle, which controls 
a wireless mouse and keyboard right here. I have the internet cable connected to my router. That's very important. Make sure you connect your internet cable to a router. And finally, I have this uh, USB, micro USB cable, which will power the Raspberry Pi. Once you connect this cable to this Raspberry Pi, it should turn on. All right, guys, now as you can see, it's loading. It's gonna go through its first initial setup. The first time it takes a little bit longer than when you set it up for the second time. So it's gonna run through the BIOS and everything. And we're gonna give it about a minute to load. So the first thing we should do is under uh, this setup here, click on enter where it says expand file system, click on enter, let it load. It's gonna expand the file system so that it takes advantage of the full uh, SD card. Then we're gonna hit enter again once, once that's finished. Then we're pretty much done. We're gonna hit this tab button till we get finish here, then click on finish and we're good to go. Click on okay when it asks you to reboot and it should restart right now. All right guys, now it's asking us to uh, log in. The username is pi, so type in pi, hit enter. And the password is raspberry, so R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, hit enter. Now we're gonna type in start x, so S-T-A-R-T-X, hit enter. All right guys, so now it's loading the GUI. This is the graphical user interface here. And this is where we're going to actually uh, run Scratch. So, all right guys, so we're gonna click on menu. Under programs, we're gonna click on Scratch. Now, this is the program we're gonna be using for the rest of this programming series. And uh, this is gonna be video one. This is gonna be a big series where, where I'm gonna teach you guys how to program using Scratch. You'll, you'll learn programming, you'll learn how to interact with the Raspberry Pi, its GPIOs. Towards the end of this series, we're gonna be doing things like programming robots. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a robot kit uh, that works with a Raspberry Pi and runs on Scratch. We're gonna be programming robots, we're gonna be making games. It's gonna be pretty cool. I love programming, I love the Raspberry Pi. I figured why not melt it into one cool tutorial series. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. This is gonna be video one. Check this out in my uh, Raspberry Pi Scratch programming play playlist. If you wanna follow along, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give me a like. And that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmurTech.com and thank you for watching.